Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. So yesterday when I put up this brand new shed, which is completely empty, which is very wasteful. I do need to put some machinery into here, ideally tonight, before I go to bed, but look at this. It's a very good shed. Uh, so yeah, the common harvester is going to be going to here and possibly a tractor, maybe, and also any machinery which doesn't currently fit in this yard. So all the stuff over there and possibly the gator. The gator may be sold because uh, it's only being used for eggs and I can actually use the steward trailer. So depending on the amount of money it's worth, it, it might be going. I don't know. Um, but yeah, first things first, I'm just going to jump into the combine, take off the header, put it onto the trailer just here and then put it away. Then it's going to be time for bed. I will go to bed and then in the morning it will be time for me to decide what we're going to do. Now I have actually considered already buying another field but it all comes down to the price. If it's really expensive then I'm going to have to wait. thing is I actually uh, do have four more horses ready to sell very soon. Uh, so potentially, potentially there's going to be £200,000 coming in in a day or so. But, yeah, I don't know exactly how long it's going to be. Is that going to clear it? I think it's going to clear the roof. I'll do it from third person view. Just to make sure. I wouldn't want to scratch my brand new combine. Yeah, loads of clearance. That's good. So there we go. It is a decent shed. It could also be used as a storage point for crops. Uh, or even a workshop, I suppose. Can you go through the side door? Uh, I don't think so. But I could be wrong. Anyway, uh, yeah, just closing myself in here. I don't want to do that. This one, this one, and this one needs to go up. That was not what I was intending on doing. There we go. Um, yeah, because I've got some stuff to put into there. So I'll grab the Ford tractor and very quickly just time lapse the cleaning up process. That's looking very cosy in there. I, I need to move the Joskin trailer across a little bit more. Uh, but everything is in with about a millimetre to spare. Yeah, if that moves across, I've got plenty more space to spread those out. But that's good. Okay, so just for tonight, that is going to be tidy enough. Close this up. Such a nice extension to the yard. And yeah, I need to make sure I don't have any workers going anywhere near these because they're just going to ram through them, which would obviously be disastrous. So. I'm going to have to work on this piece of the field on my own. Uh, but for today, I'm going to leave it there. So, yeah. Part of the tractor up. Just there. And time for a good rest. I've done probably two episodes within that one day. That one virtual day. So, good night. No, oh, great. Don't tell me how I'm feeling. Thank you. Right, okay. So, yeah. See you in the morning. Well, here we are. Good morning, dog. Mr. Sniff, there you go. Bit of food for you. As for this, I need to start the tractor up and just finish off that field over there because what's actually happened is the worker hasn't gone to the edges and also I do need to plow the centre to essentially combine the two fields. I need to make two fields into one. So, a uh, bit of comedy first of all of attaching this plow, which I think has flipped. Actually, it might attach fine. Oh no, it did flip over. Uh, and then the rear plow, so I can tidy this up. This is going to be a very slow job so once again it's just going to be a really quick time lapse, probably 20 seconds long or something. Um, but yeah, it should just make it nice and enjoyable to watch. Right, well as you can see, I've just blended the two fields together. I haven't ploughed the entire load of grass over there because I don't really know if I want to. Because uh, I do need to keep some for 
hay bales and stuff. So if I go and plough all my grassland, it's going to be tough to be able to actually produce hay or grass for the horses and the sheep. So yeah, I've kept some. Uh, that's the perfect width that's taking in everything there. So that is going to be the end of the field. And after this, it's going to be a case of just putting this onto a worker with the drill, planting whatever the next crop is going to be. That's missing a tiny bit there. Um, yeah. Right. So I just need to stay in a straight line. Yeah, I don't know what the next crop is going to be. I think it's probably going to be oats. Uh, oats are usually a quite, quite a good crop to do. You get the straw. They're useful for the horses, which are obviously big money makers. Uh, and they're easy. So, yeah. I think oats will be the next crop. As for the grass area over here, again, I don't know. I might be keeping it or I might just plow it in, in the future. I'm bound to be doing some more plowing again at some point. So, to wait and see. We can finish the job off now with just the rear plow. Just keep backing up and tidying things up here. Finished. So, yeah, although it looks different, it is now one huge field. This should become apparent on here. Possibly, although, yeah, because one half is harvested and the other half is cultivated, it makes it quite hard to see. Uh, but yeah, there we go. A huge field 18 and 19. What do I call it now? 1,819? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just the field next to the yard. I suppose technically it should be field number one. It's the closest to the yard. Anyway, yeah, I'll take this over here, make sure I've turned off create fields, otherwise the yard is going to be turned into a ploughed field. That's good. And I'm just going to park it here for the time being. To actually find a place to take off the ploughs. I don't know, maybe over here. I don't know if that front plough is set up for removal. If it isn't, then it's going to jump up into the air. Which, although is quite amusing, also doesn't look very realistic. I might have to press B. Whichever way I do it's going to be wrong. I can just see this now. It's just going to go catapulting into the air. Here we go. Yep. Okay, not quite a catapult into the air, but it was close enough. I do also have this, which needs to be sold. It is the old header for the very small combine harvester. Uh, the issue I've got is actually getting it to the sell point. I suppose I could use the front loader <laughs> just to pick it up. Strange thing to do, though. Picking up a header with the front loader. Now it's got enough seed to be able to start. I'm going to start it way over the other side because I am very concerned about my stack of bales getting knocked over. So starting it over here is going to give me time to do some other stuff while it just gets on with it. So there we go. That's set to oats. Start the unfold. There really shouldn't be any problems. It should be able to just do the whole lot without any intervention from me except for filling it up with seed which I do need to do. But again, it should be able to do at least 10 minutes. And also, now I've got the power, there should be no slowness going up the hill. When I had the case tractor, it would go super slow, pulling up there. That's good. Right, okay. That was definitely set to oats, I hope. Yes, it says so on the field info. Right, okay, so here is my gator. Again, I don't know if I need it. I don't think I do, but it's just so nice, isn't it? It's just such a nice machine to have. I've also got some seed there which needs to be picked up, so I'll pick that up in a minute because I know that a lot of viewers are a bit upset about it being there. And my seed bags are here. Which one is seed? That's fertilizer. That is seed. Okay, so time for the Ford tractor. I'm most likely to just use the front loader. Where's my Ford tractor? There it is. Right, okay, so I think I do actually have another rear weight somewhere else. Is that my super heavy weight? No, it's not. Oh, is it? Oh, maybe it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, I need to have something which is not quite as heavy because the other one is, like I've said before, axle braking heavy. It is 3.3 tons, which for this tractor is extreme. It shouldn't even be able to pick it up. That's how heavy it is. So that's much more appropriate. One ton. And my pallet tines are needed. Pallet times are over there, but first the bucket, and I also need to actually uh, chop the straw. So I need to get a straw shredder, as mentioned a few episodes back. 
yeah. They've got so much food that actually what they're spilling doesn't even fit back in the trough. It's just spilling out again. Uh, I have more chickens in the coop over there, so potentially it will be accepted, but then again, what they've spilt might not be. Let's see if it does take it all. I don't want to spend too much time on these because it is just the same sort of thing over and over, just reversing backwards and forwards, picking up seed, but it is a job that needs to be done. I've had some viewers say just get the cleanliness mod, but although it sounds very good, it would sort of limit what I would actually be doing with the animals next to nothing. So I'm going to keep doing this until I get really bored. I'm okay with it, it's just for video. Can be repetitive, okay that is as much as it's going to do. That is full. At least I don't have to do any more wheat. No more wheat has to be harvested for a very long time. Now, this has been here since probably episode 15 or something. So you'll be very pleased to see it go. Oh no, it's been here for so long it's reluctant to go. There we go. It's a lot of go. Okay, so it's only 175 litres, which isn't a great deal. But... I'm not going to go and tip it out somewhere else in the yard just to move it. It has to go in the drill. So I need to catch up with the tractor, open it up, and put it into the drill. There it is. What's that coming over the hill? Is it a Massey? Excuse me, I have something for you. Would you like to take this? I know if I reverse it's going to just drive off again. Uh, yep. Alright, stop there. Stop. Ah, oh, super close. I might just have to take it off a worker. Yeah, that would probably be the sensible thing to do. On its way back up, I will sort this out. Ah, don't look into the sun. Here it is, right, if I can see. Get it aligned and then just stop the worker. Next thing will be it opens on the other side. Oh no, you can access it from both sides. It's not like a, a cover that opens up. I do need to go and get some more seed. And that is it. It's not even going to reach, is it? It's not going to reach. Interesting. Should be done from the back then. It means driving on the crop. Sorry, this is probably really painful to watch. There we go. The seed has gone. So I'm going to get that set off on a worker again, but I'm going to go and get another seed bag. Or a seed bag, the first one. So it can continue without stopping any more times. I've stopped it already too many times. Right, so I've just taken off the bucket and the pallet times are just over here. As I've already explained, I do want to get a new graphics card very soon because I want to be able to increase the frame rates. For some reason I just suffer from lag spikes and frame rate drops and I can only assume that it is the, uh, the graphics card which is struggling. Because everything else is really high spec. Although, to be fair, the graphics card isn't too bad. But I am running on very high graphics setting. In fact, it is maxed out, so that would explain it. but I would prefer to get over 30 and even then it does drop down to about 15 which isn't good I wonder if I can take two of these just need to get them out first of all let's put that one there second one is here uh, yeah there should be no issues with being able to pick up two I think the rear weight is going to be heavy enough to compensate I think actually my larger concern here, the greatest concern is the space between the palatines. It might not even be able to reach. Oh no, 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 that seems good. Oh no, I've just tilted. <laughs> I've just ruined what was good. There we go. I really do like this mod. It's a very good mod. And now trundle up the road and then annoy the tractor driver once again by getting in the way. <sighs> you don't want to know how that got there. Did a backflip. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll be able to get off there in a minute and then it can continue. Two bags may be too much. In fact, the uh, the reach of this isn't great. I really could do with a telehandler. I really could. I think it's still going to work. But a telehandler would just help so much. Yeah, it's still going in. But it's just not ideal. I know what I'd love to have, 
it is the 180 degree loader, uh, but it's just so expensive. There may be space for some more. Get it filled up to the top. I don't think it'll take the whole bag, no. Nope. Because these are big bags. I think there's 2,000 litres in each one. Uh, put the cover back over and off you go. Finish my field, but don't crash into my bales. Otherwise I'll be a very angry farm owner. Seems pretty good though. Good worker. Um, and it's a long time until it gets to here. Besides, it's going to get very confused with my semicircular shape over there. Right, so the next thing is well, a bale shredder, but also the header. Um, so I'm going to take the header over to this cell point here, and then go over to the store. The store, for some reason, never gives me a good price. Well, it gives me a good price, but nothing ever quite as good as just here. I've had suggestions from other viewers saying that it's just depreciated in the time I dro just drove down the road, uh, which could be true. I'm not saying it's not true. It's just a 15 to 20 pound depreciation in 30 seconds seems a bit extreme but it could be that the game could just be measuring the distance the tractor's travelled or the amount of time it's driven for I think it is the time actually that's not working I'm going to have to get the, uh, the John Deere combine just to move that and even that might not fit or I could use that but I don't think it would work because you can't usually ratchet strap a header Creep under the door. Let's see what this does. It's going to look really weird. But it should work. It's not like it's got far to go. In fact, I could just push it, but I was just trying to be a little bit more realistic. It certainly fits. Think of the productivity on that. Wasted horsepower and wasted diesel and time perfect you've done your job very well there T560 and the I no doubt stands for intelligence although it probably doesn't I don't know uh, I don't know much about John Deere's okay so I have to repair it first then I can sell it for 14,298 which might possibly cover the shredder although I have no idea what they cost I need the one for the front loader oh wow they're re actually really cheap uh, I think it's that one there. Pretty sure it is. Also, I do need to clean some machines. Uh, I wish you actually could move the uh, the pressure washer because you can move it normally in real life. It's on wheels. Good if you could roll it to the different machines. There we go. Oh, that's that's not right. Anyway, yeah, I'll drop off the pallet forge over here. The good thing about these bell shredders for the front of the front loader uh, is they actually give you a bell spike as well, which you can use separately to the shredder. It doesn't have to be used for the shredder. You can move bells if you want to, which I think is very good. And I'm very surprised about the price. So back onto here. Yeah, I've just realized the giveaway is FL for front loader. So that is good. Only 2,300 pounds. How do they make a profit? Most things in FS seem really expensive, but that just seems almost too cheap. Not complaining, I am so pleased to have something which isn't really expensive. So, next job, load a bail up. I don't know how many bales it's gonna take, but I have loads of them. This tractor could do with a service and a refuel. If I have the time, I'll do that. But I don't really see, except for it obviously being realistic, what the benefit would be in um, repairing the tractor. I suppose it's losing horsepower. That must be the only thing. But it would be a very important thing if you need the tractor for something like pulling, pulling machinery. Uh, I think it's... No, it's not that one. It was that one. There we go. So, I have bales everywhere in this yard, so it's not exactly hard to find one. Here's the first one. I'm just trying to rotate it, but uh, 
That could have gone better. There we go. And again, not too sure about the way you put into that. I think you just put it in that way around. Makes sense. Although, yeah, ideally a bit better than that. And now, it's ready to shred. So if I can get past my barricade of uh, bales, which I put here when I was very confused, I will then shred it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that seems to be working good. To make sure I've got the angle right. Here it goes. It's a long way to throw it. Nice. Just do a screenshot while I'm at it. There we go. I think it's going to take quite a few. Quite a few of these bales. I have a lot of horses. That's the first one done. Time to detach and put the next bale in. Again, luckily the next bale is very close to here. I might actually take the one off the stack because that is just completely in the way. They all are, but that is even more in the way. For a minute I thought it was going to go flying. Pop that into there. Of course, easier said than done with me doing it, but there we go. And then, once again, I don't know how much it's going to take, but once again, here we go. Very satisfying watching that. And it's finished. But it didn't take it all. I have way too many bells here. Uh, so I think the only place that is actually going to be used is here. So I might as well just keep the whole thing together. There we go. But that is a good tool. Really do like it. Now, how's my tractor over there getting on? Okay. Uh, yep, so as I've said, I need to get some more land. I just need to look into doing root crops. That's why I'm building this storage point. No rush for it, though, because it's nowhere near ready. But I think I will just move these bells across, because I do want to make this entire concrete pad a storage area. It is too small and with this field here if I harvest it and then obviously get the bales off it there's going to be quite a few. It's going to be a fully fertilised field as well. Yeah, so just keep building this wall across the back. You can already see the shape of it by the concrete. I'll just keep going until I get to the end. I'm a bit concerned it's going to look a bit messy because I'm not exactly great at stacking and these are all manually stacked, they're not done with an auto stacker. But it's only going to hold or contain uh, some sugar beet, so it's not a piece of artwork. And finally I have this one here. Yeah, it's going to be a big storage area because if I do this field here as sugar beet, you can imagine how much sugar beet is going to be off the field. Because you get a lot of it. It's not worth... Well, actually, it's not too bad in 19, but it didn't used to be worth a great deal per 1,000 litres, but now it is. It's worth like 600 to 800, I think, at a really good price. I can take a look. Yeah, if that is 488 at the moment, I would say 600 is a good price. If you think about it, you get a lot of it. 600 for um, 1,000 litres. Uh, that is going to be one huge profit. But at the same time, I'm going to have to obviously lease a machine, which is going to be expensive, and it's going to be a very slow job. So, And obviously a worker's going to be used too, because I can't really do all that, and the carting on my own. So I don't know. I think it's going to be a huge profit, but I can't really say for sure. But I'm building a big enough area to... Well, a big enough bunker to actually contain the sugar bit. At the moment it looks like a wall, uh, but it won't be. It'll be good. And before I finish today, what I do need to do is give the horses some water, because I did forget yesterday. Very important. They're not dying. They're not anywhere near an empty trough, but it really should be done. And go over to the ponds and fill up. But this has now really turned into a nice farm complex. It's just all mine. All this is mine. Uh, Makes me feel quite smug, even though it is only a game. I just like the feeling of being able to start off from scratch without cheating. I didn't cheat with this. Um, and then be able to 
build up to what is starting to be a very successful farm. The next machine is going to be a John Deere tractor or another brand, just not a Massey Ferguson. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I have nothing against Massey Ferguson. It's my favourite brand, along with a few others. Um, but as my viewers have noticed, I do use it too much. So the next one is going to be anything but a Massey Ferguson. Uh, but most likely something like a 7R, maybe a 6R. Yeah, maybe a 7R. Standard model, so 7230. Uh, yeah. And if I get rid of the Ford, it'll have to have a front loader, if it can have one. I think it can. But yeah, water first, and then I'll check up on the tractor. Obviously I can see it's doing fine, but I want to see exactly how far it's got. It can be a bit deceptive from here. And in the next few days, there's going to be some horses to sell, which is always good. £200,000, and eventually I can get another paddock, hopefully. Right, so I think it's just finishing what used to be the separate field. It's actually in the division. So that would have been wasted land, yeah. That is what was wasted land. Now going to be a crop. Hello! Don't say hello back. I suppose you couldn't hear me. <laughs> you couldn't hear me in the tractor, which makes perfect sense. So everything is going very well. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.